Well, for more on outer space and beyond, we're joined by Brian Orlotti from Toronto via Skype. He's a writer for the Commercial Space Blog. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. Now, the promise of commercial space flights has been on the cards for years now, but how close are we to actually seeing this become a reality? I think we're very close to seeing this become reality. I think we're on the verge of a perfect storm of sorts, where we're seeing a coming together of capital, disruptive technology, and visionary thinking that will allow the commercial space industry to leapfrog what has been done in government programs. Seeing it every day with things like uh, Rocket Lab's um, uh, 3D printed rockets being launched out of New Zealand uh, about a month ago, um, where innovative new technologies have been used to drastically cut the cost of launch systems, enabling uh, more and more activity to take place uh, in Earth orbit. Now, let's say you're not a millionaire or a billionaire. When can the rest of us expect commercial travel to become affordable? Well, that's, uh, that's a question of the long game. Uh, in terms of taking passengers to Mars, we've heard Elon Musk and uh, his uh, plans to uh, send colonists to Mars. And he has stated that his ideal price range for an average Mars colonist is about $200, the average price of a home in the United States. Um, but that is something um, that is um, still in fairly um, speculative territory at this point. So I think in terms of uh, mass space travel, we are some ways yet in terms of, of decades. So I think before we see the colonists, we'll see things like um, like we're seeing right now with space proposed uh, constellations of communication satellites, large numbers of small, cheap nano satellites enabling cheap internet service. We're seeing things like with companies like Exact Earth and Earthcast um, using cheap nano satellites to provide ultra high resolution imagery of the Earth along the lines of Google Earth, but at much higher visual quality. So I think things will be prominent first. And those activities will provide the revenue streams that will eventually enable um, the prices to go down for, uh, for the average person to go. Now, how key is the role of private companies like SpaceX or these public-private partnerships to making this a reality sooner? Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? I'm sorry? Sure. How about the role of private companies like SpaceX or public-private partnerships? Could they make this a reality sooner? That's definitely um, what Elon Musk and uh, Jeff Bezos are pitching, and uh, certainly um, they are working towards that end. Um, but an undertaking, for instance, uh, like colonizing Mars is going to a great deal of outside capital from many different sources. So it uh, really is very much going to be a group effort. It'll be, it'll be very much a public-private partnership with governments, not necessarily the, only the U.S. government, but governments around the world, companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, um, all doing their part. Now, beyond space travel, countries are also looking at space mining. So what are the natural resources that countries and companies are hoping to mine from, say, the moon and asteroids? Well, the most prominent resources looking to be mined are the so-called rare earth metals, um, the materials used in very high-tech devices, smartphones, um, uh, um, computers, uh, and electric motors, and so forth. And that is one of the, uh, the main targets for mining companies, um, such as Deep Space Industries, uh, that are operating out of the states, and as well as planetary resources. Those are the materials being targeted by those firms. Um, um, they seek to launch um, prospecting satellites that will take a look at various asteroids, catalog the amount, their amounts of these materials, and eventually um, um, send forth automated systems, large 3D printers, uh, smelting. Now, let's... I'm sorry, I, 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 I want to make sure we get to this. Um, President Xi Jinping has said that he wants China to really become a global player in space exploration. How do you see China's role in this industry going forward? Um, well, China is definitely uh, on the rise uh, in terms of its um, uh, preeminence in the world and in terms of its uh, presence on stage. Um, their uh, uh, space program is ramping up and ambitious, of course, with the uh, with the uh, moon lander and U-2 uh, being launched a while back, um, and with more ambitious plans towards uh, manned uh, lunar landing. So um, definitely uh, China is on the rise and definitely has a prominent role in the, in the future.
Well, certainly a, a tight international race there. Thank you so much, Brian Orlotti, writer for the Commercial Space Blog.